Hi, I'm Shannon from HouseImprovements.com. And in this video, I, I just wanted to show you three different examples of, of different ways that you could insulate your basement walls. Um, really, I guess any wall for that matter. What we've got here, uh, this basement just had two by two framing. So it was very thin framing uh, against the concrete half of the basement. Uh, so three different ways you could go about insulating this would be what most people would normally see, which would be the bad insulation fit between the studs. So that would be this style. Right here we have a sheet of rigid styrofoam insulation, cut about a quarter inch smaller than it needs to be to fit the plate, the space, inserted and then spray foam from a can that seals in the gap all the way around. So that'd be the second type. And then over here we have the actual spray, spray foam in there, put in there and uh, we did this uh, in, a, in another video. If you have any questions on that, just search our other video about uh, using two component spray foams. So these would be the three different options. Uh, now in this case, because of the thickness, these, all three of these will still require a vapor barrier in some areas, so you would still need to check on that. This one here for sure does. With the, with the styrofoams, if you can get over two inches of thickness in a lot of areas, uh, then they'll allow you not to have to put a, a poly vapor barrier over top of it. So uh, just check that all out. But uh, So it could, could possibly save you a, a step and, and, and uh, some of the process of insulating by using a couple of these other options. Um, these two over here are definitely sealed up really well. I would say, I mean, you've got your gap totally sealed with this sheet and over there obviously the, the full spray foam is completely sealing that, that whole space. Where this one here, even with the vapor barrier over top of it, you've got some staple holes, that sort of thing where you could still get some air leakage. So, uh, As far as cost, uh, I think obviously the bad insulation is, is the cheapest um, and it's a bit of a toss up on these two. This is probably the second cheapest, and then this one likely is your more expensive option. Uh, you could do a bit of a hybrid type situation if you've got a thick enough wall. Uh, a lot of times I'll use a one inch styrofoam as my moisture bar barrier in a basement right against the concrete. Then I'll frame the, the wood wall and insulate it with, uh, with bad insulation and then put vapor barrier over top of that. Uh, so that does a couple things. It gives you a, uh, a thermal break between the concrete and the wood completely because you do use big sheets of this in behind there and uh, which all this also gives you some R value even at an inch I think it's an R5 most of them and then with your bad insulation even if you have two by four walls you got another R10 so you could be up to an R15 which uh, gives you a little bit of a mixture of the two different systems and uh, and uh, a pretty pretty good uh, finished product so so anyways, just a quick video, just wanted to show you these three different options. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these three or, or anything at all, go to the website and uh, check out our forum. So just post up your question there and I'll have a look and get back to you with an answer. Uh, also go to our YouTube channel and uh, check out all our videos on all kinds of various things. So we've got lots of videos up there and uh, if you have questions for the, from those videos, again, go back to the forum. It's the best place to ask the questions. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching.